As you guys know, yesterday we got the huge Fortnite Mirrors update and it has received super well. With all this hype from Fortnite Mirrors though, there's been something that's been completely overshadowed in this update. And this thing that's being overshadowed actually reveals the future of Fortnite Chapter 6. Now before we get into this, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. I upload consistent commentary content including Fortnite news and relevant Fortnite topics, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Now this goes all the way back to Chapter 5 Season 2 where the Fortnite 2024 roadmap actually got leaked. This revealed a bunch of the festival seasons and a bunch of the battle royale seasons, and these would slowly get more and more confirmed. For example, season 3 looked to be some desert theme, and as we know, Fortnite season 3 included a desert, and then season 4 showed Doctor Doom, and right now we're in absolute doom. People slowly started to catch on that this roadmap is actually 100% legit, meaning that we knew the entire future of 2024. And of course, we looked at what season we can expect next, and it is none other than Chapter 2 OG. Now we knew that we were going to be getting another OG season because of this tweet right here, but none of us were expecting it to actually be a Chapter 2 OG season. This has so many people excited because the previous OG season was super well received and really really fun, and Chapter 2 OG will actually include the most popular Fortnite season ever, that being Chapter 2 Season 2. So it's safe to say that everyone is super super excited for this brand new OG season that we have in just less than a month now. But this had people wondering what is after that? And you can see that we have a live event and then we also have Chapter 6. But how are we gonna go from a Marvel season into a chapter 2 OG season and then go from there into chapter 6. It doesn't really make sense at the moment, but with yesterday's Fortnite Mirrors update, a ton of things got added back to the files that reveal some crazy things about Fortnite chapter 6. Now yesterday's big reveals actually starts with the map changes. Now these map changes start with a brand new farm PY that we got. We also got a ton of Halloween themed locations. I mean, this number of map changes is actually unheard of in chapter 5. We barely ever get mid-season map changes anymore and this trend starts with chapter 4, so all people could talk about is the fact that we got a brand new PUI in this update. But with all this hype of these locations, actually overshadows another map change that reveals so much. Heading all the way to the desert biome, you can actually see the Rave Cave head. In case you don't remember this, Rave Cave was actually a chapter 3 location, and the last time we ever saw this was in chapter 4 before it got destroyed by the Mega City biome. So why is it here? It doesn't make sense for this to just randomly be added in an update, right? Well, that's not where all the Chapter 3 teasers end. With yesterday's update, the Chapter 3 map got added back to the files, specifically version 22.30. And if we revisit whatever map that is, you can see that it is actually a map from the Chrome season. And as you can see from Retro, he says, for those who don't know, version 22.30 released on November 1st, 2022, and the Chapter 5 season 4 finale event is happening on November 1st. Now, this is just weird. There's too much adding up here to the point where it just, it can't be a coincidence. First of all, the chapter 3 map got added back to the files, and then the release date of this specific chapter 3 version also lines up with the chapter 5 season 4 end event, and then we also have the cuddle team leader head in the desert, and this is all happening in the same update, the last update of Fortnite chapter 5. Now as we just talked about a couple minutes ago, we are going back to chapter 2 OG, but think back to how chapter 2 ended, the flip side. This event had us flip over the island, revealing the Chapter 3 island. And I know that we're only going back to the first three seasons, but since we are technically messing with time to get back to Chapter 2, this could create some type of strange flip side event where the flip side happens sooner than it was actually meant to. In this case, Chapter 2 Season 3. We know that after Chapter 2 OG, we have Chapter 6 and people are almost starting to wonder if Chapter 6 will be a continuation of Fortnite Chapter 3. This could even be a brand new Chapter 3 timeline where we actually ended up beating the Herald. As we know, Chapter 3 ended with Herald actually winning and blowing up the Chapter 3 island. But what if this didn't happen? And when you really, really do think about it, this actually does make sense. Us messing with time is going to cause the flip side to happen sooner. At the end of Chapter 2 OG, we know that we are going into Chapter 6. And with us messing with time to somehow get back to Chapter 2, it's going to cause a weird timeline disruption. This is going to cause the flip side to happen sooner in Chapter 2 OG. This might even cause us to go back to Chapter 3 Season 4, or in other words, Version 22.30. Then, maybe we defeat the Herald this time. This means that if we defeat the Herald, that means that the 7 will still be here, and the storyline could be 100% rebooted with this. I know this all sounds crazy and it is probably a lot to process, 
but there is so many things adding up here to the point where it really does make sense and I think it really really could happen. If you guys have anything to add on feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. I'm actually very curious to see some more theories on this. Everything is adding up way too well and it makes so much sense to go back to chapter 3 and possibly the new creative director will actually carry on Donald Mustard's story including the Seven, Jonesy, and many more characters. The future of Fortnite is looking crazy and I will be here to cover all through these commentary videos. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. Peace.